Hey, all right, everybody, just uh, another quick video. I think the third one that I've done. Uh, L5P is a daily driver. Just want to share a little bit of my experience uh, today while I sit here while my wife and daughter are doing a little bit of shopping. Uh, so I'm not driving right now. Um, 1,283 miles now on this truck, the 2020 uh, uh, Denali um, 2500 HD with the Duramax and the Allison 10 speed. And boy, have I really enjoyed driving this thing. Um, in the past, pre-COVID, I would have been taking about a 40 mile uh, one way trip, 35 to 40 mile one way trip each day to work and then home. So somewhere between, uh, I would say, uh, 60 to 80 miles per day, mostly highway. Um, of course, with all the changes now, I haven't actually driven to the office since March. So it's, uh, it's mostly around town driving with a couple of short trips up, uh, up 75 uh, here in Michigan and um, one or two towards hunting camp. So uh, the details so far, uh, in the last thousand miles, mm -hmm. I've averaged only 15.4 miles per gallon. But again, a lot of that is city driving. Uh, in the last 238 miles, I've averaged 18.6. Uh, None of this is hand calculated, of course. This is just looking at the, uh, the screen on the dash here. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, but my last 238 miles have been more highway uh, driving, including today, a little bit of a highway trip with the family. And last weekend, um, up to Frankenmuth, Michigan, from where we live and back, all highway. Uh, and then we're going back up uh, to a house we, that we have up there um, for the Thanksgiving weekend as well. So I'm guessing that my fuel economy will stay somewhere between the 18 and 20 mile per gallon range as that continues. A uh, couple other things to note after 1,283 miles, the oil life sensor uh, says 83%. Uh, the air filter uh, life sensor uh, shows 90%, brake pads at 99, front and rear. Uh, so that's just kind of some interesting information that you get as you scroll through the, uh, the display here. It also shows your fuel filter life, which is at 93% engine hours at 44 hours. Uh, so not a whole lot of idling, although I'm sitting here idling right now. So interestingly, the um, I have not noticed a regen on the vehicle yet at, at 1,200 some odd miles. But I my guess is that it uh, did occur at least once uh, during a highway trip, uh, but there was no indication of it. I wasn't watching the miles per gallon so closely that I would have seen a dip. Matter of fact, I try and not leave that screen up because then I end up sort of obsessing over that and I don't enjoy driving the truck. I found if I just uh, don't look at that and just don't drive like an idiot, uh, I'm fairly happy with the fuel economy. I think I mentioned in prior video, this is probably at least as good, if not better fuel economy than my 2016 GMC Yukon with the 6.2 in it and certainly better when I'm towing even though my trailer isn't very heavy. Uh, so far, no real complaints with the truck uh, at this point. Two little uh, annoyances. One, driver's side window, when you roll it down, it has a little bit of a squeak. My guess is that's just because it's been rainy lately. Um, maybe I just need to, I've heard before that if you if you use a little old fashioned Windex uh, and kind of spray it down in there, it'll, it'll kind of lubricate that rubber seal and uh, make that squeak go away. The other is a little bit of a rattle that sounds like it's behind the rear seat. Uh, some of the roads here in Michigan are, are pretty bad. Some of them are washboard, uh, uh, speaking of the unpaved roads, obviously, out where I live. And with the solid rear axle on this thing, uh, as you guys may know, it rides like a buckboard uh, across that stuff, and I get a pretty good rattle in the back. Doesn't appear to be the rear window rattling loose or anything like that. My guess is it's uh, it's something behind the uh, seat or some sort of, maybe there's a bracket or something back there. That seat doesn't appear to fold down from the rear or even be accessible from the rear. It seems to be affixed. Uh, so I might spend some time poking around back there to see if I can figure out what that is. 
Um, but all in all, everything's been great. Uh, temperatures did drop down to uh, the 20s here and the truck does sit outside because it doesn't fit well in the garage. Did a couple of cold start mornings. Of course, no problems whatsoever. It did come with the uh, the front grill guard uh, that was just included. It was under the storage area in the back seat when I picked this thing up. Read through the instructions. It says you can put that thing on, uh, I think below 30 degrees. I don't have any real intention of, of doing that. Just looks like one more thing that's gonna get filthy that I'd have to clean. Um, maybe if the temperature's dipped way down, I'd consider doing it. Uh, also haven't plugged it into the engine block heater yet, although that cord did come with it as well. Uh, just don't think it's been uh, cold enough to worry about that. Uh, all in all, I will say that my family has really enjoyed the truck. I was a little concerned uh, coming from a fairly plush SUV that they'd be a little disappointed that we didn't have easy access to the cargo area in the back uh, when you're going down the road. Um, I think I mentioned in one of the earlier videos uh, that a lot of people have complained about the, the firmness of these seats. Uh, my wife and daughter, neither one have complained at all. As a matter of fact, I think they found this thing quite comfortable. Rear seats are heated which my daughter likes. They don't recline, but they are at a reasonable angle uh, just the way they are. Um, I don't know if any of the other full-size trucks in this segment have a seat that reclines a little bit other than the Ram, uh, and that might only be the Mega Cab, I'm not sure. Uh, so it's not like we've taken any, you know, three, four hour drives in the thing uh, as a family yet, uh, but an hour, hour and a half here and there. Nobody's had any complaints. My wife pointed out it's a little bit firm, uh, again, on some of the bad roads, some of the pothole highways and things like that, but often you can just change lanes and, and get into a better lane and it seems to be uh, fine. So uh, that's about it for this update. I think everything is going really well uh, as a daily driver, lots of in-town trips, short trips in and out of uh, the village where we live, and so far no issues to report. So. I'll keep, uh, keep my thoughts coming uh, in this format and uh, hope you all drive safe. Hope you're enjoying your trucks.